Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today... Today we are doing the moon landing on Space Agency. Yes, that's right, the iconic first landing on the moon. I believe, I think it's the first one. Either way, we've only been there like twice, so I mean, we're, it's close. I'm, I'm almost there. 50-50, uh, you know? So, we will start in our briefing. Whoa, we have a lot of objectives on this one. Mission number 16, the moon landing. Our objectives are to assemble the Saturn V rocket. Launch the rocket, making sure the third stage reaches orbit. Dock the service module and the crew capsule to the LM. Fly to the moon. Separate the LM. Land the LM in the landing zone on the moon. Take a photograph. A picture's worth a thousand words. Separate the LM ascent stage. Dock the service and crew module. Leave the moon's orbit. Discard the LM. Enter orbit around home. Re-enter and splash down. Wow, did you guys get all that? We have 15 objectives. Well, technically 13 because the budget and the time are considered objectives too. Speaking of which, we have a budget of $98 million. $475,000. That is a lot of money. And our max time is 20 minutes. So this is it. We choose to go to the moon. Assemble the full Saturn V launch vehicle. This includes the Saturn V first stage, a connector large to large, the Saturn V second stage, the Saturn V third stage, lunar module descent, lunar module ascent, Saturn V payload fairing, Apollo service module, crew capsule dockable, crew escape tower. Whew. Once the third stage is safely in orbit, separate the crew service module and carefully dock with the LM. The third stage will separate and back away automatically. Select the service module and set a course for the moon. After reaching orbit around the moon, separate the LM and slow it until it begins to fall towards the moon. The landing zone has been programmed into the Navicomp. Carefully descend into the landing zone, taking care to match the speed of the LM with the rotation of the moon. Once on the surface of the moon, take a photograph. When you're ready to leave, hit the separate button. The LM ascent stage has been pre-programmed to put itself back into stable orbit. Remember that. That is very important, because if you start touching things and, you know, doing whatever, you're probably going to screw it up and you're probably going to crash. I know I have. <laughs> okay, so select the service module, leave orbit, and set a course back to home. While traveling back to home, discard the LM. After entering orbit around home, slow the module down and separate the crew capsule. Re-enter the atmosphere and splash down into the ocean. Good luck. You're gonna need it, guys. So... The gold award for this one, we must use the full $98,475,000, but we must complete the entire moon landing from start to finish in 10 minutes, 40 seconds. That's almost exactly the same amount of time it took them to actually go to the moon, by the way, just so you know. Not really. <laughs> okay, but the hard part about this mission is no checkpoints. Because if you screw up once, your whole mission's done, and you got to start all over again. Yep. Alright, so we are going to go build the rocket. Oops, not to medium stages. We need to go to the moon with the large stage. And this is the largest part of our, you know, budget right here. The first stage for the Saturn V rocket. Although, the second stage for the Saturn V is quite a lot, too. I mean, I, I pretty much guarantee, like, watch this, guys. Watch this. I could take a black arrow, okay? If 
you take the black arrow and you put the payload boom just like this and if you go here and use the N1 fair oh no it doesn't work I thought it did I could have sworn I've done this I know I've done this hold on maybe I didn't use the black arrow what did I use I know I have done this with a medium stage rocket was it the Arians I got this. Yes. I'm sorry. It was not the black arrow. It was the Arians that I used to do this. But you take the Arians and you put the N1 payload launcher on here. And then I believe when we go back, because we have the wrong module, the, um, the wrong first stage, the Apollo service module, oh, it will. Okay, so, so let me continue. Sometimes, because you're using the wrong module, whatever your payload is will sit too high in the fairing, so the service module will not um, correctly seat into the fairing. What you can do in that case is put a connector on here, and then with your connector, seat it like so, and then put your crew capsule like so, and then we need the escape tower, boom, and we don't really need boost, uh, who am I kidding, we need boosters. So, just like this guys, I'm pretty sure that we could launch this into space and actually make it, but, you know, that doesn't satisfy the first objective, which is to assemble the Saturn V rocket. This would, you know, be a whole lot cheaper and stuff, but no, the game will not let us. So we are going to assemble the full Saturn V rocket. And we're going to use the third stage right here. And, oh, I need to be in the payloads. Yeah, see, see how low this sits into the Saturn V third stage. That's that's what the problem is sometimes. Sometimes it ju your payload just sits on top of your uh, stage and, you know, it doesn't quite work because it wasn't designed to do it. But we have the technology. We will make it work. So, here is the Saturn V rocket. You can tell by the budget being exactly zero that we have, in fact, finished our first objective and completed assembling the Saturn V. So let us launch this bad boy into space. Five, four, and we want to start around three, four seconds. Two, like, right at four seconds. Because if you don't, um, it's probably going to not light one of your um, engines. And at that point, you will probably plummet to the Earth and blow up. I've done that also. Okay, so... Now that we are up to speed, I'm just going to pulse this a couple times because I'm an overachiever and I want my third stage to actually have enough fuel to allow me to leave orbit around home. So we're going to try to get as much fuel in the third stage as possible. Going to have to separate right now though. Boom. Okay, and we can separate again. Just correct our self a little bit. Now the second stage has a lot of um, lifting power, but it doesn't have very good fuel. So if you're trying to move one of the really, really heavy modules, it's almost better to use the N1 second stage, just for your information. So we want to let ourselves go flat. So we're pretty, pretty close to flat. This is perfect. Okay, we've got our third stage into space with almost a full tank of fuel. And then what we do next is wait. And we are going to get the red exit line right over Loon. And ooh, that is like perfect. And we're just gonna speed up like that. Next, we will separate the payload and immediately move forward and start turning. Then, we can start speeding up the third stage a little bit here, just like this. You want to pulse it so that it's not going too fast. 
Okay, boom, perfect. So then we can do a little faster. Okay, we're ready, we're great. So, from here, we will um, rotate just a teeny tiny bit to get us perfectly in line with the entrance to the moon. And we are also in the correct orientation like this to slow ourselves down once we get close. Now, can I can I see yet? Just peeking. Yes, we are we are like perfect within the um, orbit of the moon. So I'm gonna zoom in on myself here, and I'm going to let this go until the last minute because we just need to slow down out of escape velocity. So at like like 30 units or so. Boom, 30 units. I'm gonna slow us down. That's perfect. So I'm actually gonna slow us down to like midway here. All right, so now we'll separate and we'll grab the lunar module and I'm going to, I'm gonna do something uh, interesting here. I'm gonna rotate it. And then once we get directly over the top, I'm going to start slowing it down like this, just using the um, the directional thrusters. And if you do this correctly, you should be perfect. And then you just want to pulse your main engine. Perfect. So we've landed. We've taken our picture. Always confirm after you take a picture. Take photograph. Okay, so we're ready to go. So we want to go to the landed on loon and we can separate. Boom. Now, it is possible for you to uh, hit the dirt on the moon and immediately take your picture. And if you do that, one thing that will happen is you risk. Um, get over there. I hit. I didn't start speeding up soon enough so let's fix that boom all right now now we're good okay so if you hit the dirt on the moon and immediately start speeding up uh immediately wow i lost my train of thought i'm i apologize guys if you hit the dirt on the moon and you immediately start speeding up um Okay, I got it this time, I promise. If you hit the dirt on the moon and you immediately take the photograph and try to separate the module, it's possible to do it without the um, module being fully landed. And when that happens, when you uh, try to separate without your module being correctly landed on the moon and like stopped moving, What'll happen is the the vehicle will crash when you go through and um, try to separate the module. So you want to be sure that you are 100% stopped moving so you can successfully do this. Alright, now, I've got myself in the correct alignment again. I'm trading some fuel because we really don't need any fuel with this module anymore. So I'm going to separate it and then move it to the right, like right to here or something like that. And that way it's out of the way. It's not going to come and like run into the service module because I've done that before. Um, I forgot to move my... There we are. It's going to crash right into the earth, which is fine. It'll burn up on impact. Our next thing we need to worry about is not hitting a satellite or something. We're going to be high enough that we will avoid the communication satellite. So we want to slow ourselves down now. And this time, we're actually going to slow all the way because we do not... Okay, we did... Cr we did miss the communication satellite. That's all that matters. Now that we've got a clear orbit below us, we're going to slow ourselves down, rotate the capsule into the correct re-entry position, 
just like so. And we're actually going to use the down thrusters to propel us towards the planet, and we can save some time there. And then we separate at the last possible second, and we are in or uh, in the atmosphere. We are re-entering, and it's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay, so we are going, and we're going, and we're turning. Wow, why is this? Why is this doing this? Come on. Usually, I get a nice, like, smooth, nice entry into the planet, but since since I'm recording, this is how it always goes. Since I'm recording, it's going to be as difficult as possible. It's just trying to make me fail because I don't know. The game's evil, and it wants me to fail and burn up and have to start my recording over again because. You know, if you fail at this point, if you burn up the module on re-entry, then there's really nothing you can do because we didn't use any checkpoints. But that's okay. We got this. We are almost to the parachute zone. Ow. I just punched the microphone. I apologize. I don't know why I punched the microphone, but I did. Actually, I do know why. It's because I've got my phone right up again, right up to my face, using both hands here, because this is stressful. Launch the parachute, last possible second. Right as the parachute bottom of the deployed. module goes over the thingy, and then we just kind of float. We're perfect. We're graceful. We are the first people to have our feet on the moon. We have successfully done the lunar landing and we should have a wonderful shiny gold medal oh yeah there it is so we have completed the mission with a gold award in 8 minutes 34 seconds the cost, yeah, the cost is kind of out of our hands because, well, you know, the game won't let me do my thing. But I definitely could have launched those two modules into space for a cheaper price if it had just let me. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Space Agency. Have a wonderful night.